Markdown is such a simple thing. It will take you only one minute to learn it, but it will improve your productivity in writing forever. You want to create a heading. Simply add a hashtag before your heading text. You want to create a bold text. Simply add double star, write your text and then double star. That's your bold. And now you want to create italics text. Similar to bold, just put your text between underscore instead of double star. You want to strike through your content. Simply use tilde and write your uh, content between the tilde. You want to create a list. Simply write down star, your list item one, new line star, your second item and so on. You want to create order list instead of star, use the numbers one, two, three. You want to create a link. You start with writing square brackets. Within those square brackets, you write the title for that link. And then right after that, you start parenthesis. You write down the web address that you want to link and then close the parenthesis. That's your link. So for example, you want to create link for visit developer diary. So you write visit developer diary within a square brackets. Then you start parenthesis. You write down the address, web address for developer diary and then end it. That's it. How do you include an image from a web address? It's quite similar to the link. Just that you need to add exclamation mark for whatever link is for that image, such as here I'm adding logo. So I have given the title logo and have added the address of the image in the parenthesis. You want to format your code while writing a document. You want to mention, let's say a variable name for your program. Use backticks between between the backticks, write down uh, the code or the variable name that you want. Let's say you have multi-line code. Instead of simple one backtick, now you use triple backticks and then you enter, then you write down whatever length your code is and then close it with triple backticks again. And that's your formatted code. You want to quote a famous person, let's say Albert Einstein, all you need to do simply add greater than sign, write down your code and that's it. You can try out all of them on developer diary. Developer diary supports markdown and it will help you to get things out of your head by writing your daily diary and it will help you to be present in the moment.